just embody the American dream. People say he's a bad guy, he's a good guy. He, I'm everything, okay? He was just like a rich, white, successful tycoon. That braggadocious element that's in hip-hop, we resonated with Trump in that regard. It got no deeper than that whatsoever. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States and we are going to make our country great again. Everything isn't fine. We're worried about the world, we're worried about our people, we're worried about everyone. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. A lot of shit that he says, it triggers feelings in black people, it triggers feelings in Hispanic people like They're bringing crime, they're rapists. This guy hates black people, he hates Latino people, he hates Muslim people. Like, what do I do with that? How do you find room to be entertaining in such a time where it could be too dark for someone to even want to care? I want to make sure that I create art that accurately reflects the times, almost like a historian. Hip-hop has always been political. We were screaming the police when we had to. And now we're screaming Donald Trump. was seen by a lot of hip-hop artists as somebody who was a figure to look up to. He came out of New York in that new money, new glamour era of the 1980s. Money's the key to end all your woes. When you thought of someone being successful in America, you thought about Donald Trump. How does it feel taking pictures of these Playboy men? Somebody has to do it, and I've decided it might as well be me. That braggadocious element that's in hip-hop, we resonated with Trump. There was just this fantasy aspect. And that's the way it is. And then The Apprentice comes along. Say this whole, you know, you fired and all this other stuff. Like, everyone loved it. We're both smart guys. What the f <laughs> if Donald Trump wasn't a household name before, I think The Apprentice definitely put him in like every American household. Because of the decades of reality show culture that America had been um, kind of drinking. Donald Trump! In many ways, America was ready for a reality show president. I would do various things very quickly. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Mark my words. Build that wall. 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 That was like the, you know, the DJ scratch, like, what? 
building a wall and your reasoning was because you feel like Mexicans are criminals. It was just bizarre and it was gross, but hip hop responded. Down try. Down try. Yeah. Down try. Yeah, yeah. Down try. Yeah. I'm about to turn black. You gotta not only build a wall. They're gonna have Mexico pay for it. Like it sounds to me, he understands his base and he knows what to say to get them riled up. Hey Donald, and they ain't one that follows. You gave us your reason to be president, but we hate Donald Trump. He's a dumb, and he dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I mean, I concur. <laughs> This other guy, I don't, I don't have any ill will towards him, but his conversation is divisive, and that's not an evolved soul to me. So he cannot be my president. He cannot be our president. Trump to be here and do what he says that he's promised to do and we'll see how it goes. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. That I will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Congratulations, Mr. President. Trump's election, it just seemed like the whole world was in free fall. We didn't know what we were heading toward or what was coming at us, but it, it definitely looked like trouble. Because it was, you know, a madman taking the reins. Yo, yo. Well, first 12 years of my life, I grew up in Pleasant Grove, which is Southeast Dallas, predominantly black neighborhood. And then heading into my seventh grade year, my parents moved me and my little brother to Rylette, Texas, which is a predominantly white neighborhood. And there was a culture shock. You start to see that people value African-American lives differently depending on what area that you're in. My music, I try to be as raw and as unapologetic as possible so that the emotion is communicated effectively. I want to make sure that I create art that accurately reflects the times. Almost like, how, like a historian. There's no full sentences, I'm just naming different things that go on in a black neighborhood. So the last part is uh, Bible, bottle, needle, bathroom, TV, dead cousin. All of these different factors in black neighborhoods, there's only certain results that come from it and few are good. And when you see these towns and when you see these thugs being thrown into the back of a paddy wagon, I said, I said, please, please don't, don't be too nice. nice. Like, like when, when you guys, guys put, put somebody, somebody in the car and you're protecting their head, I said, you can take the hand away, okay? With my cousin's death, I found out really through Twitter. I was working at a grocery store at the time I see that there's a riot going on in South Dallas. 
and they said that somebody got killed by the police. But you see this all the time. We've almost like desensitized by it because it happens so much. Then I got a call from my mother later saying that uh, my cousin got killed and I'm like, by a cop and she's like, yeah, and I'm connecting the dots from Twitter and my mom that my cousin lost his life. And he was reaching in his pockets for something and then after he's dead, they search his pockets and there's nothing in it, no weapon or anything like that. To know that I ate Christmas dinner with this guy, now he is gone off the earth. And it's like, it affected me, yeah, but he left behind a dad, mom, sister, brother, daughter, so the way that impacted them was 20 times worse than what it impacted me. After that moment, I decided with my music I wanted to speak about these things because typically when something like that happens, there's nobody in the family that has a platform that can say anything, so it just gets swept under the rug. Gun store, liquor store, liquor store, gun store, foot like a usual. New shoes, new boots. Shoot you, funeral. I think there's a sense of a lot of us being fed up. We're not going to allow people to mistreat us and we're gonna be very vocal about that. How does it feel like in the trumpet? I'm like, it feels the same way it's always felt. I woke up, ate some breakfast off a plate of post in Texan. Saw somebody else got shot up this time by some cops in Texas or Virginia. Can't remember, can't keep count. They rope a dope and trying to wear down our emotions, but, but if you just abide it, you be cool. If they say jump, you say how high. You know what's wrong, you say all right. And don't you look them in the eyes, boy. Be quiet, boy. Sound familiar, hi, boy. Pause. You know about the systemic racism in the United States since the United States was built. That's what it was built on. I find yourself a quote unquote martyr for the cause, a mural on a wall, a hashtag for Team White Kids to troll for angry response. It's bound to wreck your body or straight burn your body out. It's bound to wreck your body or straight burn your body out. Everything isn't fine. We're worried about the world, we're worried about our people, we're worried about everyone. Don't you move, I'm gonna shoot you in your head, you hear me? Second half of Obama's two terms, the big thing was like, racism doesn't exist anymore, and I don't even see race. And I used to, I used to be like, y'all are so stupid. I promise you, we as a people will get there. Obama, people that thought he was going to come in and be some sort of Superman and, you know, Carmen San Diego just throw the hood on his back and fly it up into the air, you know, that's kind of silly because they can only do so much. You just another angry shouting while you pressing, while you pouting. Why we still singing We Shall Overcome in the 2000s? Devil's trying to turn this car around while we've been asking, are we there yet for the last 400 miles? Like, damn, shit, wow. It's bound to wreck your body or straight burn your body out. It's bound to wreck your body or straight burn your body out.
one of the places in the world that's toughest on guns. These animals come in and start shooting up. There was nothing anybody can do. I know one thing, in this room, it's a whole different story, right? Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Freedom, yes! Freedom, yes! This is all part of Trump's strategic nationalism, right? It's a neo-nationalism. It's all about borders. It's about keeping things closed. It's about setting up walls. It's about keeping people out. This guy hates black people. He hates Latino people. He hates Muslim people. Like, what am I, what do I do with that? It's the people that are here, by the way. People are here. They want to change your religion. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Not gonna happen. As a Hindu, my work started taking this angle towards Islamophobia, was that if you think that Hindus and Sikhs and Muslims are all the same, like, what if we are the same? Like, internally, we know our differences, but united, we're much stronger. Hey, yo, when promises betray premises, where do you run to? Your feet are tired of running from hate. They put a gun to your head, and so you pray for peace. Become a piece of prey. Cry that, how do you muster tears for today? Do I inspire from your hashtag in my memory? Taking my humanity, draining all my energy? How many likes will my hate crime receive? How many times will the hate crimes deceive? Growing up in New York, like, you're always gonna struggle, I think, with dual identity if your parents come from another place or if you come from another place and like there is a hyphen there and like that hyphen was a point of pride right and you know to a certain extent i feel like when donald trump came that hyphen became a slash it became a wall not a bridge It's easier to make a meme than to have a dream. But to Heems, it just seems that they theme is a scheme. You say please, but they treat you like dogs with disease. And you flee, but they treat you like dogs with the fleas. And your glands dried up, and you're out of tears. And your visa ran out, so you're out of years. And uh, how does my accent sound when I'm crying? How does my accent sound when I'm dying? The damage and devastation that can be inflicted by Islamic radicals has, has been, been proven, proven over and over. At, at the World, World Trade, Trade Center, Center, at an at office, office party in San Bernardino, at, at the, the Boston, Boston Marathon. I would say as a community that, yeah, we, we began to look over our shoulder. And it started after 9-11. What I remember from post 9-11 was Muslims, uh, a bunch of them, working class, cab drivers, construction workers, gas station attendants, and the FBI would show up at their crib and start turning all the shit up out the drawers and stuff. And I then hadn't heard about it in so long, and now to, to revisit this just idea of disrupting people's lives and, and shaking up foundations. The effect on mental health in this country that like Donald Trump has had is something that like I don't know how you measure that, but it's been the root of like a lot of anger, rage, a lot of feelings that coming from Obama we didn't have in this country. <laughs> Making music has helped me explore some of those feelings, and more than anything, it's helped other people uh, out surprisingly. Inshallah, mashallah, hopefully no martial law. Hell yalla, yo yalla, let's rock a show in Ramallah. I have a line on there, I say inshallah, mashallah, hopefully no martial law. And they were chanting it at protests at LAX. Inshallah, mashallah, hopefully no martial law. Inshallah, mashallah, hopefully To hear something we wrote be chanted at a protest, that was a highlight of the last two years. Oh no, we're in trouble. TSA always wanna burst my bubble. Always get a random check when I rock the stubble. Terminal five, terminal one. 
think we're termites Wanna terminate us Terminal 5 Terminal 1 Think, think we're termites, termites. Wanna, Wanna terminate, terminate us, us. It was very important to me to get the facts out and correctly. Big picture here, the city of Charlottesville made a decision to remove a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee from what is called Emancipation Park. And a group of white nationalists decided they wanted to come in and protest the removal of that statue. That's our point. That's our point. That's our point. That's our point. There was a group on this side, you can call them the lefty, that came violently attacking the other group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. It's getting worse, especially politically, because we got this jerk in the White House. Wait a minute. I'm not finished, fake news. A lot of shit that he says, it triggers feelings in black people. Most importantly, it triggers feelings of a white supremacist. And it seems to be that racism is promoted. We the people, even though we play so hard, we don't f with your kids, you pray your own arms. We the people, yeah, we trying to wait on God, but me we gotta stay on guard uh, My president ain't black right now We got a racist in the White House It's so whack right now Anytime we talk about a, a racial injustice They always hit you with the Well, I'm not a racist And them be the who racist know me that hate me They just hate on my skin How disrespectful is these clothes gon' get? Call me the coolest monkey in the jungle and act like I ain't supposed to trip. What? They say slavery was a choice now. For real, my nigga. Caught the side eyes before I've caught, you know, the young lady clutching her purse when I walked by. Of course, I've caught the guy in the retail store like, you know, that's a thousand dollars, right? I'm like, yes, I can read. I see the price tag. Oh, okay, it's not, it's not refundable. I'll just leave. I'll just leave. I still get discriminated against every day for some shit. So what the f I can't have a 10,000 square foot house? What's wrong with that? Oh, I'm black and I got tattoos and shit. I got diamonds in my mouth. I get up and go to work every day just like y'all. And just like our culture is being attacked, the things that we like are being attacked and profiled. You drive a certain type of car, you wear a certain type of clothes. Let me see your ID. It all happened so fast. I just, it was a blur. I'm afraid for my life. I'm afraid. I want to tell my people, hey, look, we got to come together. My songs are warnings. As long as I have power to speak. I'm still gonna be there when the microphone is cut on. Kanye, it's great to be with you. Kanye's been a friend of mine for a long time. I love this guy right here. That's really yeah, him. Yes, that's really nice. You know, they try to scare me to not wear this hat, my own friends. But this hat, it gives me, it gives me power in a way. You know, I love Hillary, I love everyone, right? But the campaign, I'm with her, just didn't make me feel as a guy that didn't get to see my dad all the time, like a guy that could play catch with his son. It was something about when I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that Kanye West was um, one of my biggest influences. His music definitely was a part of 
why I approach my art the way I did. So when I said I like Trump to like someone that's liberal, they'll say, oh, but he's racist. You think racism can control me? Oh, that don't stop me, that's an invisible wall. Sometimes I think artists can forget where they come from. Kanye, I would tell him that, you know, in these circles, you feel embraced in that seem to empower you to go against your own people when that door closes, like Jay-Z famously said, and I'm gonna say because I can, still Dozen hoes know the woes is the same. If you, you found me slain, would you still say my name? See, I know about the black man and what he been through. But if I sung about the woman that he brought it home to? See, I've been crying for my brothers, but I cry for me too. Cause I'm the only one left to be more powerless than you. Being a woman in Trump's America is like being backed into a corner and having to bite back. I think you can feel silenced and small, or you can feel sort of invigorated. I feel my back is breaking in the yank in my chest. The fruit is getting stranger and the streets never rest. But this is for you, Sarah Bartman, you are art to these marksmen. Held you in a town square, put you up to buy. And with your wildest cries, I identify. Sarah Bartman was an African woman who was taken from her home, paraded in the streets, sort of placed on display, admired, you know, for her very black features. Being someone who has always been on stage, I identify with the feeling of being exhibited and objectified. I'm plenty blended, but don't call me exotical. Like I was half black and half beautiful. It's all methodical, I find it diabolical. All encrypted in the code is biological to strip the pride that is rising in my follicles. But these curves are not a caricature for your capitalizing. Now decolonize me. This Talib, Talib. She's like a crazed lunatic. This is not a sane person, folks. There's a real, you know, physical anger that I feel when he uses dehumanizing language to refer to Mexicans, Muslims, women. And Massachusetts is represented by Pocahontas, right? Pocahontas. Everybody that watches her, they say, she is a terrible human being. She is terrible. Donald Trump weaponizes language uses it to cut people down, to incite emotion. What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot, you ask a lot of stupid questions. All I wanted was to leave my father's house, make it out. But every time I sing, they remind me of the stain. And I wonder, who's gonna know who's gonna hold her? The last the left out, lost and looked over. The songs of Sam only rain on some. In this man's world, a change gonna come. Come. Trump is not someone who we're going to be able to correct. You know, we're not gonna be able to um, make him behave. We kind of have to move past, you know, putting our energy into, you know, can you believe this guy and more, we got to get him out of here.
how does it feel like in the Trump era? I'm like, it feels the same way it's always felt. <laughs> the Trump era is just new to you because now you don't get out of your seat until your seat's hot type. You're getting hung every day without the rope. And then when you react to it, you go to jail. We are one people chasing one dream and one magnificent destiny. Now that he's opened his mouth, articulated his viewpoints, lied 6,000 times, I have the right to say, I'm not rocking with that. We're not f***ing with that. I think America will look back at these years with shame and, you know, a drop of humiliation. USA, USA. But I think part of the problem of living in the Trump era is that we live in this kind of immediate amnesia. I'm not finished, fake news. Even something that happened two days ago, we kind of forget because of the enormity of the news cycle. Rap isn't just materialism and misogyny. I mean, it's also voices of a community that don't have other platforms. There was a moment where that got lost, and I think with Trump, like, it became a necessity that came back. Great music, when it converges with that sense of dread and anxiety, what it offers is a, a certain kind of spiritual sanctuary. It just tells you, like, we still have this capacity to create these pockets of redemption and, and salvation. Our nation is stronger today than it ever was before. It is its strongest now. The times are so urgent that we need more artists who are willing to step up and to reflect and absorb the times. God bless America. Happy Fourth of July. To me, he's the perfect president for the United States of America. He represents what America has always been. We should just strive to change it. Like